Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going into our second video of the part three series. And this is the video about trading channels and how to trade trends, um, how to identify them as well. Uh, in the first video, if you missed it, it's about support and resistance, just a basic understanding of how to identify support and how to identify resistance. Um, and in, in this video, we're doing the same thing, just how to identify a channel and a trend. Uh, and in our third video, I'm gonna wrap it all together with how to trade off of the channel and the trend and the support and the resistance uh, was just basic technical analysis and also how to use TrendBot with it. So it'll be a two for one. It will be a basic understanding of how to trade it without TrendBot and then also basic understanding of how to trade it with TrendBot. Um, so let's get into it. So what is a channel or a trading channel? Uh, it is a, it's a channel drawn on security. For this instance, it will be Boeing. Um, Chart and it's on a chart by gra by graphing two parallel trend lines drawn at resistance and support levels. So note that channels also represent resistance and support levels. Trend lines also represent uh, support and resistance levels as well. Um, and the way to trade with channels is you're either trading the trend. So you're if you're in the ascending channel, you're waiting for it to hit the bottom of the channel. And then you trade off that off that bounce of the support of the bottom of the channel. If you're trading the trend and you're looking for a sell, you trade off the resistance or the top of the channel. Or you trade when it when it breaks out of that trend. So if it's in this ascending channel that we can see right now and it breaks down, then we would trade the sell. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this. So right off the bat, we have Boeing here. Um, and historically, we can see a few things here, right? We can look at parallel channels and we can grab this. So we have parallel channels, what I use, and trend lines. So first, we're going to use parallel channels and we're going to graph this. So the top of this point is where we start to see the downtrend happen. And we're on the daily and we're going to do daily in two hour. Um, and I might do the 15 minute. Um, but the reason we're doing the daily is the daily shows the big picture, right? So we're going to draw that out. This is the top. Now, originally it would have been like down here, um, but then it grew. And as you can see, the overall daily picture shows that it grew to this length. And then it came down, broke below that channel and just dropped one day, right? And now we can see overall big picture, right? We can see bottom of here, which is now the bottom support, right? Of Boeing on the daily. What we're looking for is we're looking for that first touch point where that trend stops. So that's our support. So actually, let's bring in what we learned in our first video. Let's grab the horizontal line and we're just gonna draw that up right there. So there's our support level, right? So let's draw that so we can identify that. Yep, that's the bottom of our channel. That is the support. Uh, so right off the bat, you wouldn't be able to draw this and we're gonna show you that on the two hour or in 15 minute because it's forming a new trend, right? But we have a bigger picture already. So we're gonna draw it up here and we're looking for those touch points. So we have two more touch points here. So technically I could draw it there, but we're gonna continue to draw this out. And now we can see right about there. And then when we bring it to the top, we're looking for that resistance touch point. So I'm actually gonna put it right about Actually, nope, I'm gonna put it all the way up top. Because what we're looking at is the daily ascending picture, right? So we had a descending channel and then it dropped and we have a daily ascending channel. Now, if we look at this, you probably already noticed if you are noticing channels ascending, descending channels, we have an ascending here, a descending here, an ascending here, descending, ascending, descending, ascending, and descending. So within the overall big picture, that's what we're looking at. We also have little like channels, right? So that's when we go to the two hour, we can break this down even more. And you can break it down the daily if you really want to, but we, we're gonna break it down the two hour first. So usually actually on the 15 minute, if we hit the bottom of a new channel, and we don't know that, right? We don't know that we have this channel on the daily. Come on, load. I don't know if I can go back that far. We'll see. Come on. Nope. All right. Well, 
let's just go to the two hour and I'll explain what I'm trying to do. So what I was trying to do on the 15 minute, and I can do it over here as well when we get into more information that we have. But when we hit that bottom of the support, you can see on the two hour that it hit that support and it flattened out pretty well. So what we can see here, when we hit that new support and that we see that it bottom out, you can place that support and be like, all right, I'm at the bottom of support. Let's see what happens. You can also tell that we were at a resistance and we're gonna place it right about there. So we have a little bit more information here. We have the support and resistance at the bottom of the channel. We're gonna get rid of this daily channel because we're pretending that we don't know the daily channel. So how do you identify a new trend? Well, quite simply, what we have here is a flat channel. And a flat channel is just, it's flat. It's a resistance up top and support, but it's trading within the security. It's not forming ascending or a descending. As you can see here, it broke out so we had the wick or we had the candle body come up and then like us in the first video it came it, you either you should wait for the second candle to form because what's going to happen is it's going to test typically that support or that resistance and it was testing that resistance which now became a support on the second candle body because it held and on the third candle body you can see it continued up on the two hour and now i can take my trend line and simply draw on the two hour the breakout. That's actually pretty bad. One sec here. Right, so now we have on the trend, it's an overall uptrend. But then it formed, and you can see. Once again, same information we just used down here for the breakout above, we can see the breakout down. We hit a resistance up here. So we can draw that up. And now obviously this is historical data. We've gone through this. I'll show you the end of BA as well, but I'm just helping you as we go along how this all played out. We also had a support here at one point, right? It came down, it touched the bottom. We formed a support. So it stayed in, it did a flat channel again, but eventually, Right, we can get that away because we know we're in a flat channel now. We're no longer in an up channel. We're flat because it hit the resistance, came down, and then it broke below and formed another descending channel. And you can see that right here, right? Or descending trend. Whoops, wrong one. So we have a descending trend right here. And this could be a little bit more clean. And typically you're going to form your, your trend line. Let me take the extended off because we don't need that right now. Typically you're going to form it when we have that breakout. So this kind of counts, but not really. It more be more would less be like right here. Because what you're looking for is that breakout candle. So like right here we had the breakout candle. So this would form the uptrend. This candle would form the downtrend. And then we had a little bit of sideways action came up. And it formed a downward channel again here another ascending channel or like trend here, not channel, but trend here, ascending trend here, flat right here, as you can tell, All right? It just traded. And then on the two hour, we back this up a little bit. We have that parallel channel. We're gonna form it right here at the bottom of the support. Actually, nope, we're gonna form it right. Actually, I wouldn't even form a channel, it'd be a trend. So we'd form a trend light right here because it broke out. So it went above and all you're looking for, I don't know if I explained this already, but all you're looking for is multiple touches. So just like a resistance, you're looking for those touches. So support touch here, support touch here, and it continued up. Now what you're going to notice when you start to draw this out and get more accurate, as you can tell, we hit a resistance up here, but as soon as it broke below this trend, we formed a downtrend, right? You go back here, right? It broke it broke below this or it broke above this trend, right? We had the trend line here, broke below, we had a downtrend. And this would actually probably be a little bit more uh, in depth. You would have a parallel channel here and here and it broke out. So you just continue to practice that. We had a downtrend here, uptrend, flat, downtrend, and you just continue on. And now if we go back to the daily, we can see what I was talking about earlier. All 
right? So you grab that parallel channel. So once again, you just look for that bottom of that, that support. We're gonna use that wick right there. And we're just looking for those touch points. So we had a touch point here and we had a touch point here. So in this area, that forms our support on the channel and that forms our resistance on the channel. In the third video, I'll tell you how to trade off this, but basically what you're looking for, if you're looking for a buy, you're trading off the bounce of the, the bounce of the bottom of the channel. If you're looking for a sell, you're trading off the top, the rejection of that resistance, right? Because that's the resistance and that's the support. So you're just looking for the bounce off the support and rejection off the resistance. If that's if you're trading within, within the trend. If you're looking for a breakout, what you're looking for is right now we're at the bottom of support, right? So if you're like, I don't want to trade this trend, I think it's going to break down. You can see here we're in a support line. And right now, we can look at the daily and be like, all right, it's looking like it's sideways. We could break down. And what you're going to look for is it breaks below the support, but also breaks below this channel. If it breaks below this channel, then we know it's going to go lower. And it will hit the next support, which would be here and then we'll hit the next support which would be here and we can see that by here and here um and here as well right so we can see the other support here we'll flip this color to green and just like that that's what we're looking for a breakout or a breakdown so if it breaks down we'll see it go down but most likely what Boeing's going to do is going to bounce off the support and then continue upwards um, and most likely it could test the top of the channel, which if you guys saw my, my watch list, this is like the, the three to four week play I was talking about. It was test that channel for that, that take profit we were talking about, or it will just continue to form smaller channels, which you can see like within the one hour, right? So within the one hour, you can tell we're at flat right now. So this is why going lower time frames is crucial. You can tell that right here, there's a flat channel. So it's testing this channel. So if it breaks above this resistance, we'll continue to see it go up. If it breaks below the support, you'll see it continue to go down. And you see that other support right here. So actually this would come up on the one hour and you bring that up there and then you have another support here and you can draw that out. We have resistances up here, but for this purpose of the video, as you can see, we're flat channeled. But then you go to the daily and you can see the overall trend is an extending channel. But on the one hour, we're currently flat. So that's why going lower time frames is crucial to make sure that you're getting those right entries. Because then you can go to the 15 minute and definitely confirm that we've been flat, right? So on the 15 minute, we can see that we've been flat since the 23rd of August. It broke down a little bit, tested the bottom of the channel though on the daily and then came back up. So now it's just retesting this channel. Let's see if it will come back down, retest the bottom or go or re, or balance and test the re, re, resistance um so yeah that's just the basic understanding of how to find a channel and trend um let me see if i can find another chart real quick just to go over with you guys so us 30 here we go um this is all drawn up on we can see on the 15 minute we're flat right now but if we go to the daily you probably can already tell there's an ascending channel right so it broke down and hit a support down here. So once again, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create that support, right? We need to know, I'm a visual visual guy, I wanna see that support. Grab the parallel channel, and now you're gonna find the touch points. Now you might be wondering, hey, how do I know as it's growing where these touch points will form? Well, as it grows, your channel might grow. That's what's gonna happen, right? Stocks grow, the channel grows. So it forms a higher high or a lower low. Um, and that's where the testing of support and resistance comes in. As you can tell, we were in a channel at one point here. We had a support here. We were in a channel, right? in US 30, but it broke below that support, right? It broke below that channel, which acts like a support. And then it came all the way down and formed a new channel. So we had that, that, that breakdown. Same thing here, ascending channel, tested a support. So we had the bottom support right here. We well, actually, hold up. That's a little bit more tricky. That's a little bit tricky, but you can see ascending broke down and then it formed a flat channel, right? And then 
continued on. And this is on the daily, so you can break it down. You can go one hour, and you can probably see a little bit more uh, dynamic channels, right? So we have within the daily, uh, currently we have a descending trend here, an ascending trend here, descending, or a very big sell-off, and then it hit the bottom of the support, and then broke up. So that's how you can see when we hit bottom supports, you can tell pretty easily you're going to have a... This is just extra information, but you're going to have that after a sell off, you'll see it eventually stop out, right? And when it stops out, if retests and then it goes back up and then continues on. Here it did stop out, but it didn't have much momentum to grow and then it stopped down and continued to go down. But eventually you're going to have a stopping point. Same thing here. We had a stopping point, went back up. Stopping point, went back up. Same thing with resistance. Stopping point came down. So. And then like right now, we're just flat. So there's not really much of a trend. We have resistance and support. So you probably already can see how you tie a lot of this stuff in together. The the support resistance and the channels, because the channels are just more support and resistance, but on a vertical level, where we have the horizontal support and resistance. So you can tell when that when it continues up. So if we take it to 30 minute, we're just gonna get a little bit lower time frames here. Right, you can see we have the flat here, but overall it's still it looks like it's trying to ascend again. And you can do that just simply by finding the trend line here, not the parallel channel. We get the trend line, hit the bottom of the support here, and then continue it out. Now what could happen is it's currently in a semi uptrend. I wouldn't say it's in a full uptrend because it's been sideways and testing all time highs. It could break below this trend line and then test the support. This isn't a trend line I'd actually use, but you can see that it went up and continued moving forward. And then one more channel or one more thing, or uh, stock, we'll do, or pair actually, we'll do Euro USD. I'm gonna delete all these supports and resistances. So I got a lot drawn out here. So we have the daily, right? You can see this big, this big one, we'll color it differently, hot pink or something. That's our daily channel. We had an uptrend here, and then it forward, formed a sideways channel, and then another sideways channel, formed a downtrend here, broke above that resistance, continued up, formed a, another downtrend here, broke above that resistance, and now we're in above. Now we're in ascending channel. And you can see the little trends, trend line would have gone up there, trend line would have gone up there, and so on. So, and this is the 30 minute. So hopefully this was educational for you guys. If you do have any questions, um, hit me up in the comments below or in the thread I have on Discord about trend lines and trend channels. Um, but just to recap, what you're looking for with channels, and they're more, they're more or less, I should have recapped this in the earlier video, they're more effective on larger time frames. So daily, four hour, two hour, one hour, right? You can find it on 15 minute, but 15 minute is where I would use like the trend line more or less not the parallel channel, just to find like, what is the current trend? Not the channel, you have your daily channel, but in that channel, what's the current trend? And in here, it's kind of descending, like it's a it's a descending trend, right? There's a top here and a top here, so it rejected here and rejected here, and it could reject here, as we right, pretend there's a trend line there, it would reject up here. So at the channel, you're just looking for multiple points. You're looking for the overall big picture, and then you can find the smaller pictures. So, all right, with Euro USD, we have the big picture here. It formed two, three resistance points up here, and now it's forming a new resistance point here. It could continue to break out. This could form a little bit larger or smaller. Um, I would say that if it broke out now because it hit three points up here, that'd be a new channel, or it would just be growth of the current channel it's actually in right now. So, if I go down here, we can see that the overall channel that it's in is also an ascending channel, right? So there's multiple channels. We have the, the overall Euro USD ascending channel, and then the current channel that it's in uh, within the channel is, a, is an up channel trying to break a, a downtrend forming a new channel. So you're just looking for multiple points, support, just like support lines, you're looking for those multiple points lines to form that support uh, on the bottom of the channel. And then the top of the channel, you're just looking for those top resistance lines. So 
Hopefully that was educational. If you do have any questions, like I said, hit me up in the YouTube channel or hit me up in the Discord. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next channel where we'll wrap all this together to figure out how do we trade channels and how do we trade support and resistance with TrendBot and just basic technical analysis. Like I said, these first two videos is just basic knowledge. I'm not trying to teach you how to trade off them. I'm just trying to teach you how to identify them. Um, so hopefully this helps you identify channels and just go ahead and start practicing looking for flats looking for ascending looking for descending ascending descending flats flats ascending just go ahead practice on what you like to trade uh you can send me your charts and i'll look at them and we can look at it together uh but again thanks for joining i'll see you in the next video